Guys, it's Washed Up Athlete, an ongoing CrossFit enthusiast, Calm Porter here with LSKD TV. Watching Vakey get stuck into it. I don't know how this guy maintains his fitness. What do you get, Vakey? 3,000, 1,000. I think possibly Sneaky Pete is going to do it. Surgical precision, man. Hands of a surgeon. Vakey, Vakey. Fucking <laughs> These traps are so big, it blocks his ears. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I paid him, which is so uncomfortable. It's like all the babies in the world. <laughs> it's only a three-day contract. <laughs> Take down Noah, Chandler, and Tola will be fun. What is up, you sexy beasts? We are in the gong, as they say, Wollongong. I just got cauliflower bites. What'd you get, Vakey? Who comes to Burger Place and get cauliflower? And get a burger, for goodness sake. Now, Becky, how much sugar are you going to eat this year? Last year, we had this thing where I was patrolling you because you said you were going to go without lollies. You felt like you didn't need it. So what's it going to look like this year? Well, believe it or not, this is the first event since I started filming CrossFit that I'm not actually working for a brand or the event. I'm just doing my own thing. So I've got zero stress. I don't really have to work. So I normally need, I need sugar when I work, but I'm not working. So. Um, so I don't need sugar, so we're gonna go zero sugar again. We're gonna attempt zero sugar again all weekend. Hannah can keep an eye on me. I'm gonna do it, don't laugh. I'm gonna oh, do it. Oh, I can. Oh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, take back what I said about the cauliflower. It actually looks pretty tasty. It looks like chicken. It doesn't do it justice. So good. That's good. Can't knock the cauliflower. Can't be a dirty old burger though. Can you? <laughs> uh, what did you, what'd you say? Show off the drip. <laughs> yeah. 3,000. 1,000. What are you doing this weekend? I heard you're not competing in Indy. So what are you doing? Yeah. Um, now nah, switching up to the teams this, this weekend. Uh, I don't know. I just had a, bit, a pretty big individual year. So it's time to have some fun with the boys. And um, yeah, take down Noah, Chandler and Tola will be fun. Iconic spot here in the Gong. This is where they used to have the regionals back in the day. And it's just such an intimate feel, this little coliseum here. Real steep seating. And they've got this like overhead uh, like, you know, screens round, uh, just, yeah, have a look, have a look for yourself. That's pretty wild, so uh, can't wait for the action. Who's winning this weekend, mate? Main, male and female predictions right now, right here. I think possibly Sneaky Pete is going to do it, but I'm really interested to see what happens with Dante Karangaroa after winning the New Zealand Nationals last weekend. Females, this is going to be a very tight one. I might throw it out there to someone who's been in the space a little bit. Matty Sturt. There you go. Heard it first. But don't discount Grace Walton. Yes, there we go. And there Jake you. Douglas. Jake Douglas? Yeah. Who's he? <laughs> yeah, Who? no. Who's he? Who's Jake Douglas? Has he been to the games? What's in, what's in, what's in the little bag you got there? A whole bunch of goodies in here. Yeah, like food. Or... A secret. <laughs> I actually don't know. I got a hat. I got a sick hat. Socks. Water bottle. Some other stuff that I can't show you. Go, go to your brief. Go to your brief, mate. I'll get in trouble. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Sweet. Thanks, mate. That's some. That's some dad stuff there. That's some dad stuff. Surgical precision, man. Hands of a surgeon. I was gonna. I was gonna put Bailey's on, but he's still not here, so. Talk us through your little gibbets, is that what they're called? Gibbets? Is that what the kids call them? Giblets. Giblets? I got some actually, but... Talk me through your options here, what have you, what have you got on here? I don't know, um, well I've got a pineapple here, I don't know why. I just kind of picked ones out that look cool. And then we've got like little Yoda, Darth Vader, you know. I don't know. This fucking <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> he walks in, he's wearing his guitar on his back. Yeah. Like, is this check in? Is this where you check in? Yeah, all my games, yeah, sure. Hey. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Do you have any steak and chicken? <laughs> have, you, have I told you the story? Uh, Touring Pro 21. Or tw last year? Was it this year? 23. Touring Pro 23. We're all standing around outside. We're chatting with like Reese, Phil, Aussies, and these the Kiwis. And Bailey looks at, and we're talking about the sports dietitian and like eating it's and some food. Story, yeah. And Bailey looks <laughs> Reese right in the eye and says, what he actually said was, are you staying, are you checking in and staying? And Reese just goes, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, chicken, chicken and steak. Because every Australian in the circle, including me, heard him say, oh, yeah, chicken and steak. And we're all just nodding, and Bailey's like, 
no, what are you doing? Are you staying? And Reese is like, Reese goes, I, yeah, every time I say it, and every time I say I'm chicken in, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm saying chicken. I'm saying PTSD flashback to a rotisserie chicken. And uh, anyway, it was the greatest miscommunication of accents I've ever been a part of, slash witnessed. He was like, Marty's like, heard him, and she's like, what's re And all the Aussies and all the Kiwis are just on two different pages. And finally it clicks, and we're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. What did you say, Bailey? <laughs> what did you say? Are you going to call me what? Start calling you bikes. Why you start calling me Trap Daddy. Why bikes? Because <laughs> that's what Jake calls you. Because I was like, oh, every time we're around Jake, like we explain it really well. Like, oh, we don't explain it, but we say, say to each other, Vakey, Vakey, and, and he goes, he's, like, he's trapped. Bike in, <laughs> yeah. bikes. He goes, his, tra his traps are so big it blocks his ears. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, proposal for you three boys. You can be the very first, the very first lean sponsored athletes. It's only a three day contract. <laughs> and at the end of it, you gotta just, on the podium, just, just acknowledge that it was lean that, uh, that won, they won you the championship. So here you go. Three day sponsored at the end. You, you should give us the invoice as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is Bill Tong like and Jerky. It? It's like Jerky, but better. Oh, hey, has to approve, of course, thank you. Yeah. Wait, what's the, what's the best one? What's the best one? The, the chips? The chips, chips yeah, like the that. chips. Oh yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chips are the best, that's my favourite. Oh, yeah. I like the packaging, it's sick. I know. Top quality, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is top quality shit, eh? <laughs> hey, what did Rookie pay you to come back to Australia and hang out with him? Actually, I paid him, which is so uncomfortable. She paid me. Oh, yeah. him. Um, I'm gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna do more talking. And hug me. Yeah, some hugs. Yeah, Eat hugs a couple of lollies. And, uh, oh yeah. 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 A, couple uh, of a couple of lollies. And we're also gonna drink a couple of. Oh, oh black rats. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'm not an Aussie. What's a black rat? Bundaberg rum and cola cans. There you go. Can't wait. What did that guy pay you to come back to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> rookie. Yeah, rookie. Ah. Uh, like all the babies in the world. <laughs> okay, we're taking a little break here from the uh, stadium. We're here at Fitness Alley, where LSKD athletes are running some workouts, so we're gonna join in. Guys, it's Washed Up Athlete, an ongoing CrossFit enthusiast, Carm Porter here with LSKD TV, and this weekend, I'm gonna be bringing you the hottest interview from the Down Under Championships, Dread Carpets. <laughs> no, folks, I didn't say red carpet. We don't have one of those here at the Down Under Championships. What we do have, however, is the long, solemn walk of dread from the athlete area to the warm-up zone. This iconic walk has been made by oceanic regional greats such as Chad McKay, Rob Forte, Cara Webb, and some bloke named James Newbury, even a young Tia Claire Toomey. It's a slow, solemn walk that for many acts as a moment to shift into that killer athlete mindset needed on the competition floor. And I'm going to be making that dread carpet even more dread. Oh my and then go in, <laughs> and I've got, <laughs> oh yeah, I've got, and I've got questions for so many of the athletes. <laughs> How are they going, Georgia? They're killing it? Uh, yeah, look, they're currently in the lead, but they've got some uh, a little close team behind them at the moment. They're going downhill fast. <laughs> Lastly, I want to focus on one breath per rep, always. We're not going to be breathing at the top and the bottom, it's just one breath per wall ball. You will breathe out as you throw the ball. You'll breathe in as the ball's coming back down. Breathe in. Does this make sense? That's what I want you guys to focus on today. It's going to keep you relaxed. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I want nothing less than a podium finish. So we're in at uh, Fitness Alley doing a little community workout with LSKD. And I am uh, watching Vakey get stuck into it. I don't know how this guy maintains his fitness at all because I, I see him training in his garage, but then he comes out and he busts out some insane stuff. I just don't get it. He's a bit of an animal. I think it must be all the lean. All the lean he's been eating. All that built on. Yeah, what are you about? I know what I'm doing. That is unbelievable. One more thing before you go. Oh, yeah. 
right? I'm going to give you a tip now that's going to make each and every one of you like at least 10% better as a crossfitter. One tip. And do you know what? It's painless. doesn't hurt. It's not hard, but I guarantee most of you won't do it. When you finish a workout, after no matter what that workout is, if whatever you guys do, if you spend two minutes per side in the couch stretch on the wall, and then two minutes per side in a pigeon pose, I promise every single person here will get better at CrossFit. Come on. Come on. I'll do it. <laughs>